Ooh, what's up everybody, Andrew Mahone here with Tricky Jim at Full Grip Games. If you're feeling lucky today, this is the deck for you. Dragapult's Infiltrator ability makes it invincible, well, half the time. Let's check it out. If you've seen Whimsicott GX in action, Dragapult's Infiltrator ability is basically the same thing. If any damage is done to this Pokemon by attacks, you flip a coin. If heads, you completely prevent that damage, which can be very frustrating for the opponent to play against. Dragapult's also got 150 hit points, free retreat, it resists fighting by 30, and has the Phantom Force attack for two psychic energy, deals 120 damage, and you get to place three damage counters on your opponent's bench Pokemon in any way you like. And that damage can really add up, especially with the help of Horror Psychic Energy, which places an additional two damage counters on an attacking Pokemon when they hit into one of your Pokemon with Horror Psychic Energy. Now to help set this whole deck up, we've got the Gormandize Snorlax, which allows you to fill your hand to seven cards and end your turn if Snorlax is in the active position. So we're going to be pivoting in and out of that Snorlax to help fill our hand and build up Dragapults on the bench. The main idea is that we want to have as few liabilities as possible. We really want to force our opponent to knock out as many Dragapults as we can so that we have many, many opportunities to flip heads on Infiltrator throughout the course of the game so our opponent can't just use boss's orders to get around our Dragapult. We want to force them to knock out Dragapults so that we can add up as much damage with Phantom Force as possible. We only play one GX Pokemon, it's Latios GX for its Clear Vision GX attack, which makes it so that your opponent's Pokemon can't use GX attacks for the rest of the game. It's also got free retreats, very good against Arceus, Dalga, and Palkia GX, since we can force them to then take four KOs. If we can actually pull off the Clear Vision GX, then they would actually have to take a knockout on the Latios GX and then take four other knockouts in order to win the game instead of just being able to KO three Pokemon after an altered creation. So this card does help slow down the game quite a bit. We also play four copies of Crushing Hammer, which also helps against Arceus, Dalga, and Palkia and Eternatus decks, as well as one copy of Team Yelgrunt, which we can get back with our Mind Report Mewtwo. It's very useful for stacking a supporter from your discard pile on top of your deck. We do play two copies of Boss's Orders, four copies of Marnie, since I think that Marnie pairs very well with Gormandai Snorlax. You limit your opponent's hand and then refill your hand to seven cards with Snorlax. Three copies of Research, and since you don't always want to discard resources from your hand, Research is a good supporter, but not one we're going to want to play as often as Marnie. And then three copies of Rosa, which is great if one of our Pokemon does happen to get knocked out. We can go get an Energy, a Trainer, and a Pokemon out of our deck and put it into our hand. Four copies of Rare Candy to help get those Dragapults into play that we do play two copies of Dracloac just to help us with that evolution, and then one copy of Ordinary Rod to put basic energy and Pokemon from our discard pile back into the deck. And that's it, really simple and straightforward, but it is a ton of fun to play and definitely very exciting when you can flip lots of heads on Infiltrator in a row. So check out the gameplay ahead and let me know what do you think of this very flippy Dragapult deck in the comments below. Okay, now this opening hand, you know, it's not the best. Our plan against me. Oh, okay. This matchup actually seems totally fine. Yeah, yeah. Totally a fine matchup, bro. Gorman dies, dude. Gorman dies. Okay. Yeah, this matchup's totally cool, man. Blacephalons. You gotta discard the energy even if you even if I flip heads. So all I have to do is just set up a couple of dudes here, and we're good to go. Now, they could go turn one knock out my Snorlax. That would be, like, more aggressive than I would want. For, for surely. I would much rather they did not do that. I would very much enjoy, like, one more turn of having my Snorlax here. But I think we can do this. All right, we're dead. Hey, change it. They had no energy in that hand. They still need a giant heart. They need to find one. They need to find two fire in this hand. And giant heart for two. So I'm thinking they ain't got it like that. And they just put down all their two prizers, which is awesome. Because then uh, I can take some... Uh, Insanely free prizes there. It's great. Dragapult's ability does work on the bench. Yes, absolutely. 
Yeah, you ever have your Whimsicott tag bolted? You're talking to somebody who's had their Whimsicott GX tag bolted, okay? Like, yeah, if you got two Whimsicots into play and Picarob tries to tag bolt both, you flip in two coins. <laughs> yeah, that ability definitely works on the bench. So, let's see. I, I don't think that they got knockout on the Snorlax. I think that they're going to be chilling. Yeah, they ain't doing nothing. Blazer for nada. Ten. Cool. That's fine. We've got an awesome looking hand now. Okay. We'll go Crushing Hammer. We'll try it again. Yeah. So glad we play that card. That card's busted. And then uh, we want to actually thin the deck, kind of. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. Ideally, you want to quick ball for another Dreepy and then Great Ball. Hopefully hit the Dragapult. And then uh, Gorman dies. That's what we want. We know we're going to assign an energy. I don't want to get crammed, right? So we definitely want to hit this. That's fine. I'm fine getting rid of the Rosa. It's fine. Okay. Go here. Ideally, we hit a Dragapult. Yes. Okay. And then we go Rare Candy Dragapult. And then Gorman dies. And that's like, it's a little bit of a greedy play, but you got to risk it. Listen, chat. We want to get some dubs. We got to do some risky plays, all right? Do what we got to do. Do what we got to do to get that uh, that Dragapult into play. So, that's nice. Now we do have Phantom Force ready to attack. I can use Mewtwo, put Rosa back onto, my, onto the top of my deck. If they try to go up with Cramorant, snipe this thing. It's 50-50 shot. And they have to discard the energy. That's like, I cannot iterate enough. Blacephalon has to discard the energy every time they try to attack Dragapult. So, it's uh, kind of a, a tough call to make trying to attack into those Dragapults. Just a, a huge waste. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have my Rosa, but I feel like it was worth it to keep the energy. That's fine. Dragapult's got free retreat. Love it. Okay, so we'll go here. Put another one of these down. And uh, use Mewtwo to... I could just go in with Snorlax and just draw more cards. You know? And just buy... Which is not actually a bad idea. I mean, they're going to have to take so many... I actually don't mind that at all. I think that's fine, just to like set up more. Because really, if I just set up, then I just win this game, right? So I think that's probably what I will do. Okay, we'll stack this. Retreat here. I don't think I need another quick ball, frankly. I can Gorman dies for five. Okay. Did I not stack the Rosa? No, I did. Okay. Oh, but then I giant hearth it away. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. I forgot. I forgot that I did things in that order. But it's all good. It will not matter. I still got more cards now, which is all we really wanted. And I have another rare candy dragon pole to have another energy. So. Yeah, I accidentally stacked the Rosa. Yeah, it's it's fine, Chad. It's it's fine. It's fine. We're chilling. Big chill. This matchup's free. Totally free. So let's see what they've got. They've got to really weigh every single move, right? Because I'm not going to give them any like free prizes, really. It's going to be a lot of Dragapults. Coming up here. I didn't take a knockout, so they can't over Corio. They just have to knock out the Snorlax, which is totally fine. All right, so we've got our Rare Candy another. And now I'm in a position that I want to be in. This is cool. Dragapult ready to go. And we've got Marnie. Fantastic. Cool. Told you 
Told you we wouldn't miss the Rosa chats. Told you. Totally fine. Okay, I'll go there, put another doll down. Crushing hammer. Okay. Um, I could actually just start to gust and like, but I think knocking out the Lecephalon is probably cool. So let's just Marnie, see more cards. Ooh, we got another one. Let's go. Cool. Mirror candy here too. All right. And uh, yeah, looks like we are going to be I thin the Latios out of the deck. Just check the deck real quick. Okay. There's no more Snorlaxes or anything, right? There's one Snorlax. All right. So if I have to quick ball for Snorlax, I can. It's good to know. Okay. Cool. All right. We're going to go here. Band of Force, take a knockout. And then placing damage counters, I guess, onto dealing 120, 120 plus 30, it doesn't really make a difference. Or Choreo seems that's a good target. I don't want to start to stack some on the Jirachi because that could just get scoop up. Finding the second Psychic there is incredibly good just in case this Dragapult happens to go down. But I do think that, yeah, having to spit shot turn after turn is definitely tough. And as you can see, this board position should be very difficult for my opponent to deal with. Three Dragapults all set up, ready to go. Um, I mean, that's just like... And it with 50% chance of being able to hit them, that's potentially that's potentially six attacks it would take for them to be able to clear this board. Potentially six attacks. If it's tails, heads, tails, heads, right? Now, that's not the way that, you know, life works, but, yeah, you know. Some, uh, yeah, some quick math there. It could be six attacks, you know? Now this thing, Double Blaze GX, if they get six fire energy onto it, they get a free knockout. But at what cost, chat? Because then they will have a three prize Pokemon in play. Chat is now joking, saying, I'm confident because I've got my YouTube voice on, huh? Can you tell, chat? You think this one could be one? This could be one, yeah. It's true. Chat, you've learned to recognize. We're in the middle of a game. This could be a YouTube game. Yes, it could. We're breaking the wall right now. We're breaking the wall, chat. This could be the YouTube game. This could. The matchup is right. Our board setup is correct. Everything's going well. Swimmingly so far. All we have to do is hit a couple of heads. Get a good pop-off moment or two. All the ingredients, we're putting it into the pot. All the ingredients, we're shaking in the seasoning. We're stirring the pot. What do we got, Cramorant? Go for the Mewtwo. No! Why? <laughs> why? What's wrong with you? All right, it's fine. Shake it off, Dragapult. Shake it off, bud. Shake it off. It's fine. You're going to be just fine. Okay. Phantom Force, and uh, I've only got five prizes left, so I guess it feels correct to go on to the Reshi. Because if that thing ends up coming up, then I'm going to have to KO it, right? Seems correct. Yo, what's up, Guizera? Love you too. All right. So we've got the we got the backup psychic energy. That's good. We need this dragon pole to not go down. It's fine. We're like 04 on flips so far since we've been playing the deck. So surely our next four flips will all be heads. That's the way it works, right? Does <laughs> 
Or that also, you know, when it rains, it pours. They also do say that. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no telling, chat. It's almost like we have a 50% chance of survival every time there's a flip. Almost. All right, Dragon Ball, you got this one. All right, buddy. Look at you, ready to go. You got it. Big heads. Coming up. Oh, they went for the Me Too. Yeah, coward's play, for sure. All right, excellent. <laughs> yeah, total, total. They, they wimped out, chat. They wimped out. Fantastic. Okay. Cool, here we go. Go in there. Ordinary rod. We just want the basic. No, do, do both. Yeah, do both. Cool. Because then I can put the Mewtwo back into the deck. It's the only one I want. And then here. Okay. And then I could stack the Mewtwo now. I think that's fine. And then I find a scoop up net for it later. Yeah. All right, we stack the Mewtwo now. I'll find a scoop up net for it. 100%. Put the Marnie back. Phantom Force. Cool. Take that knockout. I can put three here. That puts it, or two here. That puts it in a 120, and that's a KO. Um, should I even be worrying about this? Yeah, potentially. I mean, it is three prizes. That is like the last. So if I do 120, 120. That's 240. So I guess that, that makes sense there. So we'll put one, two. So then that's 120. And then that's 120, 120, and that's a knockout. And then we'll put one here. Nah, they're not going. They don't have another cram. No way. Not this turn. There's a scoop up net. No, we're totally fine. Totally fine. Put four on to Denny. It's a one shot. I have three prizes left. I don't know. The one on Jirachi might have been a waste, but like, I'm not sure that it terribly mattered anywhere else. No, nah, we're totally cool, chat. If they come up with Kramer, they need, like, so much energy here. You know what I mean? They need, like, two more turns of Welder here in order to attack with Double Blaze GX. And I will simply retreat into Dulls. You know what I mean? So they would need... So they would need not only... They would need Boss and Double Blaze. You know what I mean? They would need Boss and Double Blaze GX. So there's no way. There's no way. We got it. Yeah, we we totally got this. Plus, we're due a heads flip here on Dragapult. And my opponent's only got five cards left in the deck. Also true. So they might go in... I mean, they might go in and just try to Flare Strike. Possibility. Charizard here is a better attacker than... Uh, Blacephalon, because Blacephalon is just wasteful with the energy, even if you know, even if I flip heads. I'm telling you, there's no way that they go because if they go welder onto Cramorant and knock out my Mewtwo, right? Then I go hit into Cramorant, and then yeah, so we're totally fine here. It, they might not even have a welder, in which case they might try to double blaze GX here, in which case if I flip a heads, that's this is totally fine. All right, they're wasting the double blaze GX. Totally fine. And then it's gonna come. It's gonna come down to a fifty-fifty shot on a coin flip. I mean, we knew it was gonna be like this, right? It's a fifty-fifty shot on a coin flip. I don't know. I still feel like it was correct to shoot my shot with the Mewtwo that turn. I do. It was like a one turn. I'm knocking out the Cramorant. 
It's one turn to get me a supporter back. I feel like that was a fine play. Now I'm going to deal 120 damage to this thing and Marnie them. Yeah, it doesn't even... Yep. Totally fine. I don't think that there's... Giant Hearthway this. Check my deck real quick. 50-50 shot, right? Two bosses in deck. I can just waste that. Put it back down. Marnie. Okay. Seems fine. All right, time to flip some heads. And we can place three onto, at this point, is that Oracorio ever gonna go down? What, I can put it to eight? Doesn't really matter. Um, will the Jirachi ever go down? Probably not. How many scoop of nests do you have down? All four, baby. Yes, indeed. All right, all four. All right, let's go, Dragapult. Come on, come on, come on, come on. That was close. You haven't even flipped yet. Let's. Turn up! Let's go! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> yes! Yes! Sweet, sweet, sweet victory, yeah. Yo, what's up, Ashtar? From YouTube, you didn't know I streamed? I say it every single YouTube video. <laughs> <laughs> of course I stream. Yo, what's up? Thanks for hanging out. Appreciate you. Thanks for hanging out. Joining us. If you're new here, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for uh, joining the stream. And uh, I love you guys. So, yeah, thanks for being here. You guys are awesome. It's been a blast streaming today. Yeah, Dragapult, insane deck, dude. Let's go. Run it back, Dragapult. Run it back. Okay. Well, I either start Mewtwo or Latios. I'll start Latios. Sure. Yeah, thank you so much, Mr. Minart, for the Prime sub. Uh oh. Uh-oh. Well, that's good. Is if you put damage counters on yourself, then you're going to be in a world of pain here. Appreciate you, Mr. Minor. Thank you so much for the sub and the three months. What kind of deck are we up against here? What kind of shenanigans? Yeah, this they're not going to be pleased when they see what, what deck I'm running. That's for sure. Yo, Ashtar, I'm just playing with you. We're, yo, chat, wave hi to Ashtar was taken. Yo, Ashtar, thanks for joining us. Thanks for joining us. We're happy to have you. Let's go, Ashtar. I'm just playing. All right. Let's see. It's got big charms. We got Eternatus. Okay. Okay, okay. We'll go Great Ball. There's Dreep. We've got, yeah, this GX attack's not going to matter. So we'll just go here. Yeah, Marnie, and see what's up. Sounds good. Yo, what's up, Tom? Gifting the sub to Ashtar was taken. Yo, thank you so much, Tom, for the generosity there. And welcome, Ashtar, to the club. 
one of us. Appreciate you hanging out, checking out the stream, Ashtar. And thank you, Tom. Uh, Gorman dies. Yeah, insane start. We've got everything we want. Now, we said all I got to do is win two out of five, and we're one and one. The haters, haters are sweating right now. The haters are sweating. Looking awfully sweaty looking at this... Uh, at this insane gameplay we got here. All right, we've got quick ball. We can get ourselves another uh, another dreepy. Seems good. Yeah, loving it. Of course, the Latios is a liability, but it's got free retreat, so it is what it is. Totally fine. Now, let's see. I don't think that I've ever seen an Eternatus deck quite like this. The big charms, Spear Tombs, all that. It's interesting. Uh, the Spear Tombs are just going to be a liability if they get them below a certain point. So they can't really do that in good conscience, I don't think. Now, they've only got one energy in play so far. It's on their active Spear Tomb. No other energies down. So yeah, they're just gonna anguish cry for seventy. It's fine. Cool. We've got Marnie off the top. Love it. Honestly, it could just uh, yeah scoop up. Yeah, well let's just let's mess around. Scoop up. Go into a new Snorlax. Yeah, that sounds good. A quick ball here. Get ourselves another Dreepy. Cool. Marnie. Looking for a Dracloak. Dracloak? Dracloak. Don't even want the Mewtwo, honestly. Dragapult? Sure. Okay. We'll go put these dolls down. Gorman dies. Draw some cards. There we go. Got the insane looking hand now. All right, energy goes down onto the uh, Eternatus. Totally cool. Building some Sprite over here. And they, the gall of putting three damage counters on that guy. That is a bold move, Cotton. They put that thing to three damage counters. We're just one Phantom Force away from a double prize take. All right, we're getting a Crobat for four. To be fair, uh, you know, I don't, you know, it, it's very likely that they just don't, they might not know what Dragapult does also. I have not revealed it, you know. I haven't really shown Dragapult yet. Oh, it's an unfortunate Marnie. I hate to see it. Dang. All right, cool. 100 damage there. We'll take it. Eh, crushing Hammer. Let's go, chat. Dang, I need to practice more. Let's go. How many Switch you got in the discard? Two Switch? <laughs> yeah, bud. Yeah, we'll bring you up. All right. Gorman dies? Cool. Looking good. It had been revealed when you get it off Great Ball, but when you get something off Great Ball, they can't like, they can't like bring it up on their screen and look at it. They see a flash of the Dragapult real quick, but it's very difficult to like, which that's something that's actually a little bit of a problem, I think, with the coding of the Pokemon trading card game online, is that usually if a, if a player like looks for a card out of their deck, it is like, I'm going to search you know, Dragapult with Ultra Ball, then you could say, can I see the Dragapult? Right. They can, you can say that. But like on the Pokemon trading card game online, you don't have that functionality. All right, here we go.
All right, let's go, baby. Got our Dragapult ready to go. Sad. Okay, I'm going to have to stack, uh, what, a Marnie or something? Yeah, looks like that's what we're going to have to do. Fine. Okay. I am about to take some bonus prizes over here, so that's nice. Um, we'll do one, two, and do you think they play scoop up nets? Maybe they don't. Ping here. You know, thanks so much, Joe DM, for that tier one sub in the eleven months. Appreciate you, Joe D. All right, so we got a double prize take there. Find a Dreepy. It's nice. I don't think that I've saw scoop up nets yet. So they might not play scoop up nets, in which case that Zigzagoon might stay there, which is good. And then this one is like another free prize take for us. So it's looking cool so far. I really don't think that they play scoop up nets. I think that there's probably no room for scoop up nets and the big charms and the spear tombs because scoop up nets don't really jive with spear tomb that well. So I don't think that they play scoop up nets. So I think that Zigzagoon is going to be a free prize take there. I think that that's that's fine. You know, Mr. Fallout wants to know how I feel about the Leon Charizard deck. It's it's not bad. It's not bad. It's fun. Uh, it's tough being a a deck that a you know your main attacker is a stage two. Like Dragapult, except it's invincible half the time. Chat. <laughs> All right, cool. Check this out. So we get to go here, and we get to Lily's Polka Doll, back into the Dragapult, insane value. Okay, go there, go there, and Marnie. Let's go, chat. And here I can actually save the Snorlax from getting... Yeah, that's cool. Uh, from getting ruined there. All right, a little Phantom Force. If they do take a knockout, I can Rosa for another Dragapult, which is really good. Okay, and we're gonna take a bonus prize here, right on the spirit tomb. Yeah, they're definitely getting punished for those lines. That's for sure. Excellent. We wanted to get rid of this relax just in case. I don't think they play scoop up net, but you know, that thing was very close. Let's go! Let's go, Chad. Broken deck. I would play Rosa if somebody got knocked out last turn, but no chance, bro. <laughs> no chance. <laughs> All right, we're just going to deal our... And then put three onto the Zigzagoon here. Seems cool. Yo, insane value. Absolutely insane. My opponent's got five prizes left to take. How are they going to do that? <laughs> Riddle me this. How are you going to take five more prizes against this against this deck? Huh? How are you going to do it? Yeah, the spirit tunes have just gotten gobbled up as well. It's been nice. Yeah, what you got? You Do you dare attempt to flip again? My invincible, I found the invincible one. This one's been training. It's been practicing. This one's been lifting weights with its little little claw finger arms. Been lifting dumbbells in the gym, chats. Yo, let's go. Let's go, Dragapult. You got this one too, bud. You can do it. The big charm. Hmm, Could have gotten there. Big charms on the Eternatus, though. Okay, it's fine. It's cool. I actually just win, because you take 20 damage, and then I deal. That's it. It's game over. Lights out, right? Right? Lights out, baby. GG's. Yes, yes, yes. Nothing more I need here. Just going to grab the Dragapult, Rare Candy, into the Pulse. 
And there we go, Phantom Force. Take our three prizes, and let's go, chats. Oh, I gotta place my, I actually take four prizes because I knock out the, man, the Zigzagoon too. Let's go, chats. And that's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like the video, sub to the channel, ring that bell, and of course, check out the Twitch stream, twitch.tv slash trickygym, where I stream live Pokemon trading card game content every single weekday. If you've got extra cards lying around the house and you're trying to get some cash for them, make sure to check out fullgripgames.com. We are always buying bulk and singles at the shop, and of course, selling your cards to... And that's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like the video, sub to the channel, ring that bell, and of course, check out the Twitch stream, twitch.tv slash tricky gym, where I stream live Pokemon trading card game content every single weekday. And if you've got extra cards lying around the house and you're trying to get some cash for them or store credit or a new booster box, make sure to check out the Full Grip Games buy list. We are always buying bulk and singles here at the shop and selling your cards to Full Grip Games directly supports the content I create here on Tricky Gym. That's it. Y'all take it easy and have a busted day. Peace.